Good afternoon class, this is Dr. Mike Moran, your instructor for IT140, Intro to Python Programming, and today I'm going to talk about uh, how to create a flowchart using Microsoft Word. As some students might have difficulty creating a flowchart, you don't have to use uh, more expensive tools like Visio to create a flowchart, you can simply use Microsoft Word. And this is useful for assignment, uh, the module three assignment, right? So let's talk about that. So the first thing you do is start Microsoft Word and let's look at the problem that they gave us. A company wants a program that will calculate the weekly paycheck for an employee based on the number of hours worked. Obviously if it's if they work 40 hours or less they're gonna get paid 20 bucks an hour and for each hour above 40 hours a week that they work, they get $30 an hour. All right, so let's do the flowchart. So how would we do that? First, you want to add some shapes. In our case, we're going to use arrows, boxes, and diamonds. And then we're going to put them in the correct order for our flowchart. So how do you add arrows, boxes, and diamonds using Microsoft Word? Well, you would go to uh, Insert, I'm going to choose shapes, and here we have a bunch of shapes. Let's create some arrows. All right, so here's an arrow. That's a bit too skinny though, so let's go ahead and edit that. So I click on the arrow, I click the format pane option, and it gives me some options here. We need to change the width. So let's change that to, let's say from 0.5 to, let's give it a seven point width there. Nice wide arrow. It's a directional arrow from start to arrow destination. Okay, and if we want to copy that, it's gonna, I'm going to click on the arrow, control C, and then control V. And there we go. So we have a bunch of uh, several arrows now. We're good. And you can move these around as you need to point to different boxes and locations on your flowchart. Perfect. Now let's add some boxes. Insert, shapes, and let's add a little box here. Perfect, we're gonna fill in those boxes later. And let's just control C and then control V to copy that. Control V again, another box if we need it, good. And finally, let's add a diamond, that's really easy. Insert menu, then click shapes, then click, let's see, something that looks like a diamond, that's this one right here. And we'll put that right there. The diamonds are useful in flowcharts traditionally for creating the decision points. If hours worked is less than or equal to 40, go one direction. If it's greater than 40, go another direction, for example. Okay, so we've got some shapes, that's good. What else do we do? So now let's put them in order. So we might do something like this. Um, let's see, this will be our start. Let's change the font size from 12 to 20 to make it more legible. Start, and we're gonna say get hours. Let's get the regular hours worked. And again, let's change that to a larger font, 20. All right. And we can shush out the box so we can see the text better. There we go. And let's do that here. And let's go ahead and say get, let's change the contents to get OT hours worked, where OT is equal to overtime. And change the font size to 20. There we go. Okay, good. And so you get the idea here. We're going to put some arrows between these boxes. Let's create this one right here. Okay, we got an arrow. Going from this box to this box, not a problem. Control C and then Control V to copy that arrow and then paste it. Control C copies it, Control V pastes it. All right, good. So we're getting, so what do we do here? What have we done here? We've started the program using our flowchart. We got the number of regular hours from the user. We get the number of OT hours, overtime hours from the user. And then we're gonna connect some more boxes here. I'll connect more shapes actually. We're gonna connect this to the diamond. And what is the diamond gonna say? This is our decision point. What will the decision point be in our example? 
that has to do with the uh, number of hours worked. So let's say um, if hours, let's see, if OT hours, overtime hours, greater than zero, right, is OT hours greater than zero? Do we have overtime hours, right? Are OT hours greater than zero? This hours is plural, so let's use the plural R. All right, make that 20, here we go. Are the overtime hours greater than zero? If, the, if it is greater than zero, the person worked overtime, right? So we're gonna calculate the total salary one way. If the overtime hours are not greater than zero, then we're just gonna calculate the regular time. So, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and move our arrow around. There we go. And we're just gonna do a little print there. And let's move this arrow around. And we can print this like that. Move it like that. We're gonna copy this box, Control C, and then Control V to paste it. We'll paste it over here. We are going to give it a bigger size. Copy that box, Control C. You, you hit the box. You, hide, you touch, to touch the box. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. And we're almost done here. Let's go ahead and change the text to print. What do we want to print? Salary equals regular hours times, what was the salary? 20 bucks per hour, according to the directions. Remember that? 20 bucks per hour for the first 40 hours that they worked. Okay. In this case, since they didn't have any overtime hours, based on our flow here, that's it. And that's it, right? For, for the person who works just 40 hours or less. Now, if we have overtime hours, then our salary will be different. The person's salary will be different. It'll be, let's print that out, print salary equals regular hours times, times 20 bucks per hour plus OT hours times, and what did they get for overtime? It was 30 bucks an hour. How do we know that? Because that was in the directions, which I just copied from our module three assignment page. All right, that's it. That's it, everybody. That is all you have to do for this assignment if you want to create a flow chart. You can do this in Microsoft Word, and you don't have to install or get a fancy program like Microsoft Visio. This will be sufficient for this particular class, for this particular assignment. All right, that's it, everybody. Hope this worked out for you. If you have any questions, email me or um, submit a message in the general questions forum of our class discussion forum. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.